Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stone Mountain, back with some more Battlefield 1 gameplay, and this time, with the Behemoth. This thing is a beast, having six total seats, four gunners on the side that can shoot down onto the battlefield, one guy on a mounted turret on top, able to take down air vehicles, and then of course, the pilot, which is what you see me doing in this gameplay. I recorded this alongside my last sniping gameplay that I had uploaded the other day. You guys loved that, so I wanted to show off some more of this. The losing team gets this behemoth to help their team kind of come back, and it really helped kind of level the playing field of what was going on. In terms of, I was playing with a whole bunch of other YouTubers. This was down in LA a few weeks back after the Battlefield Squads event, and all of the games that we were playing were actually very close. From the recording session that we played, the Behemoth actually only came in two times. Once when I was piloting it, and once when the enemy got it. Um, and I don't know if it was maybe a bug, or because the scores were so close, both of those, or all the other games. This one, the enemy had pulled ahead a little bit. I got the Behemoth, but look how drastically the map changes with the fog and how difficult it is to spot people. I use the mini-map on the left side quite frequently to help me spot people, but you can see those missiles coming down up in front. That's me actually shooting these rounds. There's, It'll recharge up to three bombs that you can drop. You only have one weapon as the pilot or the driver of the Behemoth, but it is extremely powerful. You'll see, even though I have little to no visibility, I'm still just going to where the objectives are, dropping bombs on them. When friendly players are tagging enemies and showing me where they are, especially the vehicles, I was trying to focus on those. And the explosion radius was huge. Now, I don't know if it's gonna stay like this. For the most part, the game, it's in closed alpha when we were playing this, so it was a little bit early. But the point of this thing is that it is a powerhouse and should bring you back from losing, or at least make you more competitive. Now, if the enemy team takes you down pretty quickly, you can lose this giant force, especially the air vehicles. Those biplanes can do a lot of damage to this. There's also ground anti-air units that will shoot up and explode when the missile gets close to the target. Good to have friendly turrets on there, but the thing is, especially with fog like this, there was one other opportunity actually during the squad stream where I got onto the side. Oh, look at that bomber drop. So, the biplanes are pretty awesome, but when I was sitting on the side of this behemoth, when you're in the turret and there's fog, it's almost zero visibility, so it's not really that beneficial. That's why you don't see my thing fully filled up. For the most part, though, this thing was always full. Especially if it was clear skies, you can really do a lot of damage to the ground units. In terms of mobility, this thing is slow, which is good because you don't want this to be too powerful. But when you get into, you know, you can still move around. You can move backwards, forwards, left, right, spin it. And it would be different if I had complete visibility and could tell where I was shooting it. For the most part, I was waiting for my rounds to recharge a lot of times. So I was you know, I couldn't really give good positioning to my turrets, and I mainly just focused on going towards objectives. That one I accidentally clicked and actually got a kill for it, because I had no idea it was there. But essentially, I'm just aiming in the center of these two circles. It's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty decent. As you can see here, I was up the entire time. I was getting some good kills, bombing the objectives, still couldn't pull this game back. We actually ended up losing, but hopefully you guys at least enjoyed some behemoth gameplay. The inside cockpit of this thing is awesome. At the end, I just jumped out. When you get out of the behemoth, you actually get out on top, and you do have your parachute, of course, battlefield, and I was trying to go for an insane trick shot here, but didn't didn't work out. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you guys are new. Check out some Iron Sight sniping gameplay from my last video, or tonight I'm starting a new Overwatch live stream series with a bunch of other YouTubers. That's it for this one, though. This is Stonemount64, over and out.